So we are wearing white because we know that white signifies purity. White f- signifies that we are holy. We, we are meant to be holy. That's what it means. Mm. All right. So that is why we are wearing the white garment. But it, is, it should not only end with the wearing it, but living it. Mm. Many are wearing it, but not living it. But now we need to understand that if we are wearing this white and we want to re- really be white, then it means that our lifestyle should be pure. We should be holy. Holiness is not an option. It is a compulsion in the kingdom. Anyone that says that I'm a, I'm a seraph, in Isaiah chapter 6, when the seraph took the um, coal of fire from the altar to go and give to Elijah, what, to Isaiah, what they were saying was, holy, holy, holy. So it means that you cannot be a seraph and be unholy. You can wear white and be unholy, but you cannot call yourself a seraph and be unholy. If you have the spirit of Christ in you, because Christ recognizes that there are angels. He said, I can call down legions of angels. So Christ recognizes angels. Though we are not elevating the ministry of the angels, but we cannot do without the ministry of the angels because the church is a spiritual church. Jesus came to establish a spiritual church where every dimension of the things of the spirit must be exhibited, must be demonstrated, must be manifested. Healing is a, is a spiritual element, is a spiritual thing. So, all the spiritual things that are available in the kingdom are things that we should be exhibiting while we are wearing our white. White is just is a cloth. We can, we can say that, okay, I, I don't want to wear my white today. I want to wear suit, but I will still have that spirit that I am connected to a, a realm. I am connected to some beings that are not ordinary. Then, as a cherub, the cherub represents the glory of God. They are the, the, the gatekeepers of the presence of God where the glory of God is made manifest. Sir? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm coming back to you. Now, so the cherubim. Uh, uh, they, they also manifest what we call spiritual intelligence. So all these things are supposed to manifest in what we do, whether in our garment or not in our garment. But primarily, our garment represents our connection to the supernatural realm. It represents the kind of lifestyle we are living. It, it represents who we are here on earth. We, we want to be like the spiritual, the spirit beings that the name of the, of our church is f- gotten from. We want to be like them. We want they they operate in a realm that is above the natural. So we also want to operate in that dimension. So we are using this to represent all those things. Though. We are not limited by not wearing it or by wearing it. So, 